Well, wouldn't it be nice to eat whatever you want and be able to keep off the pounds? I would love if that was true. It sounds too good to be true, so we sent our Nick Perot to check it out. And Nick, you found this is tied to a new study from the University of Florida. Well, Anthony Heather, that's right. Uh, the study from UF Health and leader author Dr. Stephen Anton recently published in an obesity journal. This one might make you wonder when you grab your next meal and how long you wait for another one. All right, what do we have? Salad dressing, ooh, a salad. Now the research looked at two different forms of fasting. The first is where you'd take a 16 hour fasting period and in the remaining eight hours of your day, you can eat whatever you want. And the second option of fasting is more restrictive. That's where you limit yourself to roughly 500 calories in just one day, which would mean eating roughly two and a half of these yogurts all for the entire day. And in your next day, you can eat literally whatever you want. UF Health researchers say this idea known as intermittent fasting is gaining momentum and say it can be a reliable way to lose weight while actually optimizing our ability to think and function. So you're probably thinking how? Well, researchers at UF Health say that when we fast, our body's metabolism changes from burning sugar for energy to a byproduct of fatty acids. Dr. Anton says that byproduct is actually less likely to disrupt how fast you burn off food compared to glucose. All this science talk boring you? Well, let's talk hard numbers then. Dr. Stephen Anton and UF Health found that people lost significant body fat in 10 out of 10 trials where people rotated eating and fasting days. Three out of four showed fat loss, only eating in certain windows of the day. Dr. Anton says it's not a question of whether fasting works for producing fat loss. So maybe it's time you try something new if you want to shed some pounds. In Jacksonville, Nick Perot, First Coast News, on your side.